Hello, my name is Sajar Iron, and the question I'll be answering today is, was President Trump's, former President Trump's, SEAL policy, SEAL tariff policy, a disaster? So, my answer, yes. But let's go over what the SEAL tariff was. So, a tariff is basically a tax. It's a tax or duty to be paid on a particular class of imports or export. So, basically, the SEAL, in this case... It's a tax on all steel imports and exports. Now, there's already a tax, but what President Trump did was he extended or increased the tax. And so, yeah, that's what that that's what the steel tariff is. So now, what? Why did President Trump do this? When did he do this? On March 23rd, 2018, U.S. President Donald Trump imposed 25% tariffs on the import of virtually all foreign steel. Trump said the imports, the tariffs, would be imposed due to Chinese theft of U.S. intellectual property. Trump said his planned tariffs on Chinese imports would make the United States a much stronger, richer nation, quote-unquote, said by former President Donald Trump. However, the steps toward imposing the tariffs led to increased concerns of global trade war. So, let's look at the evidence here. So, based on the New York Times, these tariffs were actually taxes on U.S. companies that import steel. And they cost firms nearly $3 billion annually. Imagine how much money that really is for a company. But, and depending on how successful that is, we, we, we'll have to see if they can actually afford it. But Trump assured Americans that the tariffs would curtail or reduce unfair, quote-unquote, foreign competition, revived the foundering American uh, steel industry, and bring back thousands of high-paying jobs. Steel prices ended that year 14% lower than they were when Trump imposed the tariffs. During that period, steel mill unemployment rose at just half the rate of overall private sector job growth, and the stock prices of U.S. steel firms fell 20 20 to 0% below where they had been prior to the tariffs. Steel prices went 12% below where they had been prior to the tariffs. Steel unemployment had fallen 4.2%, whereas overall private sector employment had declined by just 1.9%, which had been caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. And so as you can see, the steel tariff, the steel tariff extend, like increase was m- bigger, more negative impact on job loss than the COVID-19 pandemic on private sector employment. The tariff threatened over just over $160 billion of traded goods annually in the U.S. $160 billion. Imagine how much money that is. Now, you may think U.S. is one of the richest countries. Yes, that's true. But it's not like they want to go spending 100 to 400 billion dollars per year on something, on things that are unnecessary. Now, let's hear from Chad Brown, an economist at the Peterson Institute for International Economics. Economics. He called this an ex- he called this tariff an example of cascading protectionism that he said was entirely predictable. He said that Trump steel and aluminum tariffs have raised the cost of key inputs, making American companies that rely on those materials less competitive worldwide. Now Trump is expanding the, his tariffs to shield their products from competition as well. Where will it end? He said. Now let's look at who and what people that these tariffs have benefited. So, according to my research, um, steel tariff uh, benefited workers usually produce the products and the factories that produce the products. Approximately 1,800 jobs were created by tariffs on the washing machines. So, yeah, that is pretty good. Factories at LG, Samsung, and Whirlpools where washing machines and other uh, steel products are produced. Approximately 1,800 jobs were produced there, so not bad. But on the other hand, it hurt workers in the 
import competing industries. Many workers were employed in factories. They used imported goods as industries, importing goods as inputs in their production processes. And when the and then when these imports increase in cost due to tariffs, it harms their production, often leading to job losses. So as you can see by this by this evidence I've given you, and by some personal opinions by economists, you can see that to steal policy was really a disaster. It was meant to help and increase the U.S. trade and make U.S. an even more richer country, which I also think, which I personally think is a little unnecessary. But I, of course, Trump was doing it to help the trade economy and industry, which is not, which is a good thing. But in the end, the benefits of the the benefits were just outweighed by the harms during the steel the steel tariff policy, and it cost U.S. about four hundred sixty billion dollars of traded goods, and workers were harmed more than they were benefited. Thank you for listening, and goodbye.